we have a kind of working, rough working plan that we do each time, a, a guideline. But for something like this, like the John Adams, it's slightly busier score than what we've done before. So I'll email Trevor in advance and give my ideas of how I think we should do it, what mics to use and, and where and how we're going to lay them out. And basically then Trevor will prep it and so when I get here most of the work is done and I just fine tune it. But we have a sort of a, a working plan that we use most time because I've recorded the hall many times now so I know the hall quite well. I know it's pluses and minuses and um, so we have like a blueprint of a technical setup. In terms of setup on the stage, it's different for every piece. I mean, depends on the nature of the piece. Like this is very mm. busy, like it's you busy. said. Yeah. Some stuff is not so busy. Some stuff is very huge sounding. Some stuff is very intricate. So you have to get, you know, more close mics on things that are playing quiet parts and accent those. And yeah, it depends on the piece. It depends on, on that little. When, once it's going, we just hit the record button and ca it's about capturing. So while the show is going on, we're recording, the main thing is then musical, just working out where the, you know, erroneous errors are and where the, where the weak spots are. And because there's multiple performances, you know, this, this week we've got four, which is unusual, it's normally two or three, you're sort of what I call gathering material and working out where the, where the weak spots are and where we need to kind of correct things. And sometimes, you know, I can say to Giancarlo, like after the first performance, look, just pay attention to this area and he'll say okay and, and normally <laughs> by the next show he's normally kind of nailed it just because he knows he needs to address a certain ensemble issue or something so by that time I'll just have like a shopping list which I'll present to Giancarlo after the concert because he only has like 20-30 minutes to kind of work out what we need to do before the musicians back on the stage and we just put it down you know and it happens very quickly there's no time to talk there's no time to discuss things because it's only 20 minutes so we just then go through the sections which I know we haven't got because I've spent 30 hours listening to it all <laughs> and I know we haven't got this section and I know we need to repair. and you just repair it but it, you'd be surprised how easy that is if you just give the musicians the opportunity to just go from bar X to bar Y and this is why we're doing it they'll tend to get it right because yeah. they can just focus on that one issue that's uh, troublesome you know it, it's a sort of cumulative process really it doesn't happen in one night it it's happens over a series of uh, days you know I start to put it together in my mind as the week progresses you know and also remember I'm learning the piece in the same way that they're learning the piece you know so that's why I tend to be here for the last rehearsal as they're learning it, I'm starting to learn it and starting to learn out what the issues are, just like they are really. So, so it's a cumulative process, I would say, rather than it sort of all happens on one one hour, you know. Yeah, well, I, I think the thing here in Nashville is it tends to be new works. I mean, recording-wise, I'm talking about. We tend to do either commissions or, uh, you know, first performances or second performances. So, uh, you know, the idea of the recording program in Nashville is to represent new and it tends to be American composers um, new works to an audience that may otherwise not hear it and I think John Collar wants to leave a legacy like in 50 years time people look back and say what the hell was going on in Nashville during you know 2010 to, to mm -hmm. 2020 you know all these new commissions all these new recordings and it's something uh, you know it's like a legacy for the orchestra to to work towards and also you know I think I think it's important that they have, it's no good National Symphony just recording a Beethoven cycle you know they have to make their mark in another way in, and I think choosing uh, new works American works in particular is is a kind of good good thing for them to do and it seems to have worked as well